Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox, a place where we have lots of fun, get mailbox surprises, and read great stories. Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. The Night Before Summer Vacation. This is an awesome book to read in May, right before school's about to let out. And I have a special surprise shout out to Mrs. Bell's class, who was so excited to read this with me, and I'm so excited to read it with you. Make sure to watch to the end so you can see Mrs. Bell's class. All right, let's get started. The Night Before Summer Vacation the Night Before Summer Vacation was written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Julie Durrell. Twas the night before leaving on summer vacation. My family was bursting with anticipation. Dad made a checklist which he checked as he went. The bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, and tent. Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for the s'mores. There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Oh, we have some marshmallows and a candy bar, some chocolate, and some graham crackers. Now, what do you think we could make with these? S'mores! You're right. They're awesome to make over a fire when you can roast your marshmallows. But what happens if you don't have a fire? Did you know that you can make a s'more in the microwave? Well, let's try it. We carried out helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel, and bike, plus Pete's doggy bowls and Jimmy's new trike. Down from the attic our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if reffing a game. In bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats to the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. Now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell like a water balloon. It started to swell. Done with our packing, we ate dinner at last. Then we got out the scrapbooks of vacations past. There were photos of us at the Museum of Toasters, and my father and I riding fast roller coasters. Here's Jimmy on Babe and me with Paul Bunyan. And there's Mommy beside the world's largest onion. There's that sound again. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Oh, look at that. That is the world's largest tire. That's crazy, isn't it? I love how they were seeing all kinds of fun and weird stuff on their vacation. Oh, there's another one. The world's largest ketchup bottle. I bet you could eat a lot of fries with all that ketchup, couldn't you? Oh, and there's another one. The world's largest dinosaur. Ooh, I wouldn't want to run into that now, would you? Oh, and there's another one. The world's largest chicken. 
Man, you could get a lot of fried chicken out of that chicken, couldn't you? And those chicken wings, they'd be big. And oh, there's one more. The world's largest roller skate. That would take a really big person to fit in that shoe, wouldn't it? A super giant for sure. I wouldn't want them rolling down my street. Well, these are pretty cool. They look like they have fun on their vacation, don't they? Have you ever seen any of the world's largest things, like the ball of twine, or I think there's the world's largest hammer out there? That would be so much fun. Well, let's see what else happens in the story. We laughed about trips we'd taken before. Our week at the beach did nothing but pour. It was so cold that we all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with 2,000 pieces. At last it was time to climb into our beds where visions of marshmallows danced in our heads. In the morning, Dad shouted, Get up! Rise and shine! It's quarter to four. Let's leave here on time. There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Oh, an alarm clock. Man, that Dad was ready to get out of there, wasn't he? 3.45 in the morning? That's super early. That's a quarter to four, as he said. Well, how do you like to wake up in the morning? With an alarm clock or your dad shouting in the doorway that it's time to go? When my girls were little, I used to go in and sing, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> and sometimes I would sing, when the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along along. There'll be no more sobbing when he starts singing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up. The sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. <laughs> It'd be way more fun to wake up to that. Well, maybe not with my singing, but then an alarm clock buzzing in your ear, wouldn't it? Well, let's see what else happens in the story. Then a few minutes later, there arose such a clatter. We ran to the window to see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but Dad, the camper, and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. We all squeezed in, then drove down our street. I suddenly cried out, Yikes! We forgot Pete! You know what that means. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Oh, a checklist. You want to know why? Because they forgot Pete. How could they forget Pete? Well, they sure remembered a lot of things, and Gigi's going to cheat. But let's see if you can remember all of the things they did pack. If you remember, the dad had a checklist. Can you remember what he packed? Let's see. Bug spray, backpacks, the umbrella, and a tent. And then what did the mom pack when she was in the kitchen? Do you remember? We made one in the microwave. S'more stuff, graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. And let's see what else. Oh, do you remember when they were carrying things outside and the dad had something on his head? The canoe. They packed the canoe, their helmets, the oars. They packed a snorkel, a bike, Pete's doggy bowls. They remembered those, but not Pete. And then Jimmy's new trike. And then they packed a few more things. Remember when mom came down from the attic? She started yelling and shouting, like reffing a game. She packed bathing suits, flip flops, sunblock, hats, and a flashlight, 
lounge chairs, or we like to call them beach chairs, and wiffle ball bats. She packed so much stuff. And then, is that it? Let's see. I think that that might be it. They sure packed a lot of stuff though, didn't they? Well, when they show the picture of dad walking out with a trail of gear, he had some other things too. You might not remember, but he had a tennis racket, a guitar, looks like some rain boots, all kinds of things. Oh, and a golf club. So maybe next time they need to put Pete on the list too, huh? So they don't drive off without him. I sure am glad they went back to get him. Well, let's see what else happens in the story. Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. Now we were ready for the 10 hour ride. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight, Mommy, are we there yet? She said, with luck, by tonight. The end. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. This is my kindergarten class. These are all my friends. And we are excited for you to read the night before summer vacation. So friends, raise your hand if you can tell me one thing that you like to do during summer vacation. Ansley. Um, I like to sit in the grass and watch butterflies. Sit in the grass and watch butterflies. Miles. Play baseball with my friends. Play baseball with your friends. Amelia. Go to the beach with um my family. Go to the beach with your family. Declan. Um, go to the beach with my family. That's wonderful. All right. I want everyone to thank Gigi for reading stories to us. Thank you. Thank you, Gigi. And wave goodbye. Bye, Gigi. Bye. Thank bye, -bye. You. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you. Thank you. today to read The Night Before Summer Vacation. What a fun story. Sure looks like they have fun on vacation. I hope if you go on summer vacation this year that you have a great time too. And thank you to the two classes that I'm doing a shout out this time on. Mrs. Bell's class and Miss Jessica's class. Thanks for watching Gigi's Magic Mailbox. I appreciate every single one of you. See you soon.